right. So, um, I'm reporting to y'all live from the bedroom because I got like a little, another little thing I put on SoundCloud. You know what I'm saying? My son friend, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, so you can see me because this is going to be part of the fucking thing. Echo. Let there be light. Okay. Yo. Yeah. Uh, uh, bitch, what you say? Man, come on. I got to clean up a little bit, but fuck that shit. Look at that shit. My son set that shit up so nice. Bitch, I got a pillowcase. Man. So you know what I'm saying? I don't know where that motherfucker is, but <clears throat> I do got a full of... You know, queen size. I got covers on that bitch. They are not, they're not on all the way though, but you know what I'm saying? I'm working with what I got, man. Hold on. I've been taking shots and shit all day for the shot challenge. And I only got like a couple of friends that I thought was going to do it, but only the one that surprised me did it. And now I got the text back. I can't do no more, bitch, because my broke ass is out of shots. I bet that little pineapple Ciroc, you know what I'm saying? That shit about to get young. So that's all I can do. But anyway, um, I ain't gonna hold y'all on. Let me put this shit on the um, shit nice, right? Oh, y'all wanna see my uh, how I set up my schools? I'll show some more. Yeah, look at that shit. Look at that shit. Oh, weird ass. I got a rag on the Echo cause she be like, hey Echo, hey Echo. What's my motherfucking name? <laughs> she not serious. Send and receive messages. First register in your Alexa app. Echo. I ain't say nothing about sending no message. Echo. Do I got a dick appointment for the night? <laughs> so it's hmm. I don't know that one. Hell no. Siri could test too. She probably, bitch, you ain't never had no dick appointment. All the years you done had me. Oh, look at this shit, though. Bro, I bought this rock from Little Five Points. They got a crystal shop. You know what I'm saying? And then motherfuckers, they into crystals. Like, it's this uh, a gay girl at my job. She was like, hey, you look spiritual and shit. And she was like, you be fucking with the crystals? I was like, yeah. But I, I use them for decorative purposes. I don't be like, honey, why do you like kill my baby daddy? You know, like, I don't be doing that shit. But, nigga, I paid $50 for this rock. <laughs> It better not ever break, but I you I do use the shit. I don't know, like motherfuckers ask me because of my jewelry and shit. Nah, nah, you know what I'm saying. But girl, look, don't pray over your crystal and think I'm finna give you some pussy because you like the way I look. You know what I'm saying? You ain't finna be <laughs> molesting me in the bathroom at work in the broom closet. You know what I'm saying? She got jazz and everything, but she be on that little fort love gone. <laughs> she draw just like a nigga on that bitch. Okay, but anyway. Um, my mama is so like, <laughs> she'd be like, yeah, you know, motherfucker with good jobs, they don't have to go to work. They got, they, they take off work from coronavirus. They take off the work from coronavirus. My job, I'll make all right. You know what I'm saying? I don't, my mom be trying to play me. Hold on, let me prop this because I can't keep holding. She done put my drawers in the, I think I got all raggedy ones today too. She be trying to play me, um, cause she trying to say people who got good jobs get to stay home for work. I so do I. I got the option. You know what I'm saying? People from Ross not going to work. Home goods closed, and I ain't talking about that. That's a bad job. Oh, let me hold on. Let me fix my titty, girl. Hold on. Hold on, shucks. Hold on, shucks. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I, I think my little light thing fell. <laughs> we gotta take this shit up there. That's talking about some gorilla packaging tape, strong packaging tape. Such a cap. Hold on. I don't want it to stretch my. Baby, give me something. No. I that song, but it, you know, it is catchy. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Not that lady, but not coming here and complain about that shit. 
if she sees it. Because they be, they be complaining about every fucking thing. Bro. Anyway, what was I saying? Fuck, I hate when I do this. I really do. Um, But yeah. I got, oh, yeah, my mom. And she was talking to try to be disrespectful. I told my job, look. I am suffering from the coronavirus. You know what I'm saying? I I, I mapped up my little work schedule like how I want to do anyways. You know what I'm saying? I ain't want to work but three days a week anyway. I might be crying when I get paid, but still. Mama's, moms are your biggest haters, bruh. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> my little, um, it do look devilish in here. Like, I got this big ass skull under my TV, bro. This shit got, like, <laughs> a strategy and shit on it. Look at this shit. Look at it. Look how he look, bro. Oh, that is scary. Niggas coming here thinking they finna get some coochie. They gonna be like, nah, I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? But, um, <clears throat> I want to tell a couple of stories. Um, I was in Walmart. I ain't, this no fucking cap. You know, I was in Walmart standing behind this real scary looking bitch. And um, I love my lights, but I don't like leaving them all long. So let me say hi. Hey, Echo. Echo. Off with his head. Okay. Yeah, cut them bitches off when I tell you to cut your dick off. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. I'm going to cut them back on. But anyway, so I was at Walmart standing behind this ugly bitch. And no shade to the mama because that was a teenage girl mama. She was so hideous like her mom was. You know what I'm saying? But I was standing behind them at the um, dot com where you pick up orders and shit. And it was just the beginning of when everybody started panicking and everything was cleared out of the store. So the store was pretty empty because nobody was in there. So I'm sitting down waiting to go pick up my little order and the teenager walked past me. She didn't notice me at first. So I'm just sitting there, you know, goofy as fuck, smiling, you know. So she look at me and she's staring at me for a while. I can feel the heat, you know, I looked at her occasionally and I kind of smirk. So the bitch gonna walk past me. Holy moly, donut shop. And I was like, well, bitch, you just seen the movie with your young ass. I've been seeing the movie. You know what I'm saying? I know. That's Friday after next. You know what I'm saying? So, I ain't think none of it. I swear to God. But she was really talking about my ears. You want to know how? Because then she was like, holy moly, pimple shop. So, I, right, because I had a little flare going on. It's trying to calm down. Got my skin layers. In. They put me on some bleacher cream. It's over there. It looked like coochie cream. It's laying. You can't see it. But I'm using this shit, and I think I'm seeing progress. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hell no, honey. What did ball that shit come from? $100. This is $100, bro. But I'm using this to lighten up the shit on my face. So, I was like, so. I, I like, it kind of like, I was like, okay, so I'm getting roasted. You know what I'm saying? So, that means you, you hate on me because, you know what I'm saying? I look better than your mammy. Come on. You know, we probably the same age and your mammy looks like a grandma, bro. I mean, she, her booty was drooping. I don't have any ass, but she had one of them grandma booties that had two knots on it and it was like sagging. Like she had on her dependent, her depend diaper need to be changed. Your mama was hit, bro. She, and then she had on high water work pants with white socks. I swear to God. And, and like, Therapy, how she look like therapeutic shoes, and they look like composite steel toe on top of that. Bitch, how about how your shoe just ugly all the way around? And I don't even think that was her work shoe, bitch. I think she wore those every day. So, what are those face ass? I know I got some water those shoes because uh, I got a funky little style, but bitch, you look like you got them right at that aisle because in our Walmart. Our pick up center's right there with the shoes at. Where the fuck you got your shoes? Because I had to buy some composites out of there. So, your mama ugly. And what you mad? You mad, though? Because when I get 45 <laughs> and your little bye friend, 28, I'm going to fuck on your little bye friend. Is that what you mad about? Is that what you mad about? I bet you if you had your little bye friend, he'd have been looking at me. He'd have been looking at me. He he would have been looking at them titties. They they they, they kind of scroll my, my navel, but he'd been looking at them titties. You know what I'm saying? So my job, um, 
transferred me from my main, my bit that I started off with, and I lost some friends, and I'm all alone, and it's hurting a lot of, I don't want to say hurt, but it made a lot of folks upset, and I didn't think, some of the people that was riding for me, I didn't think they was going to ride for me, but you know, dogs don't give a fuck, they want to do that, you know what I'm saying, you, you be close to anybody at work, and you laugh with them, they see how, like, you stuck on them like glue, they going to hate, bro, so, it was, it was, it was time, but... My little friend, she's so pretty, and I said this before, but I know she got a little girl crush on me, but so, but it's just that I'm so much older, 10 years, okay? Not that, and then sometimes I'll be like, should I? <laughs> so that's what I'm saying, you know how you be so close to somebody, you used to see them all the time, but now it's like, okay, now I don't have nobody to be aggravated with, like, now, I, huh, so this is what happened, like, the guy used to be on our team, now he's the lead, he cried for it, you know, He's on the other opposite side of this skin tone. You know what I'm saying? So he's one of those that's passionate about his work and wants to do well. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. You know, some people want to be overachievers. But, bruh, like, when he first came on the team, he and I bumped heads a lot. And I think he was frustrated because his department left. So he didn't know where he was going or whatever. So we kind of clashed. He threw me on the bus a couple of times. But we ended up being pretty cool when he was the lead. So my friend fucking thought because she was cute, you know, everybody like her and shit. You know, she got a nice little figure on stuff and he liked her too. And when I used to get in trouble, my <laughs> my other lead did used to send me across the street because he got tired of me. Like, and it's cool because sometimes you you have work relationships where you too comfortable with a person and y'all get so close, y'all end up arguing like y'all family or whatever. And you know, but hey, so they was really close. They was good friends and she thought she was special because he was nice to her and always threw me under the bus. And it's 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 my friend too. So she so when he became the lead, <laughs> she saw just because you was cute and he wanted to fuck. Cause any all the guys with a little little with little boot and some titties, okay. And, like, uh, I don't say I'm all that, but he done made some advantages at me as well. So, don't think because you're cute, you're going to be his favorite forever. Because when he gets somebody he like better than, you're going to see you can't trust some of them motherfuckers riding on walking. And now she mad. Now she want to quit. Ah, take your head and ram it in the girl. Ah. Like, people are so stupid. Like, why do people think they exempt from a motherfucker that don't do right? And you think just because you cute and y'all friends, they just ain't going to turn their back. So you either, bitch. Now you got a pitchfork in your motherfucking back. <laughs> That's what the fuck you get, too. <laughs> With your stupid bad ass. <laughs> That's good. And then first, you know, everybody was mad about the volunteers. So they was like, it's going to go in order, seniority of the building. I think this dress is cute. I, you know what? I, I got a lot of dresses that some of them look exactly alike. Like, I, I got a tail one color in it and it just i love because i'm fat right here so when i stand up at high so a lot of my dresses got to look like that so it's hard for me and like i said i'm a dress person because you know you can let that thing you can let that thing hang but yeah i'm a dress person so and i got two jean dresses that kind of the buttons are different but they're they're different dresses and i just love dresses like this and i have my little vans on and that's me that's me all spring and summer Tell my quarantine, like, this shit gonna be over. And some of them tr stimulus checks, you think you really gonna keep motherfuckers in the house if you send them? Motherfuckers talking about that. No. No. And I don't care. Well, they want you to stay in the house and order from online, but shit should start opening up next month. God, fuck this. And I said, oh, yeah. I mean, and I don't even send them back to school. It's, it's no point. My daughter's teacher gonna rush me. And like I said, I do gotta steal, because bills still coming. Like, they not coming, but they, they working with you, but then when they start coming, they're going to want all that money, and it's going to be hard for you, so you want to still pay. So I'm still got a little money coming in. So my daughter's in kindergarten, so she rushing me, like, wait a minute, just because you off for two whole weeks, bitch? You know what I'm saying? They said rooms are 50 or more. You could get, y'all can get um a fucking trailer. Everybody can get their own little trailer, or you can meet somewhere in a small sm circle, because with your students and you, it's probably at the most, with the teacher age, 25. 
that's under 50, y'all can meet at the park or something. Because she ain't finna rush me because I still got to work. And I care about my daughter's education. But don't rush me to log on to no class dojo. You can dojo these nuts. <laughs> you can dojo. I got I got your motherfucking dojo. I ain't going to log into it. But I'm telling her, I was like, look, some people got to work. And then I, if I sit there and do my daughter's work, it's she's not learning anything. But that's what I'm finna have to do. Cause, and then when you have online classes, they slap a lot of shit online. You know your old ass don't be teaching them kids all that shit. Y'all just be like, A, B, C, D. Y'all don't teach them all that shit all day. So now that they home with the parents, you want to send this thick ass package, bitch. <laughs> I like my little uh, skull um, Himalaya salt lamp. And I capped and told Amazon I broke the other one. And they sent me it. And they waiting for it. I hope they forget. If not, they're going to charge my card again. But that that was how I got it at the time for free ski because I didn't want to go ahead and got down, you know. All right. This, um, recording is the hardest shit to do. My son said because I'm trash. Oh, and his, um, his people hurt my shit because he'd be on the mic because he's such a nerd, bro. such a dork. So I'm 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 trying to do the little song and they chiming in listening to it and my, my my son was like man it's so embarrassing he was like I don't know why my mom rap like that she wants to be a city girl so bad no son you know I do priority priority how you say it songs you know I do this shit for play son I talk all this shit you know goddamn well you wanna last time you see me have some company over here so for the last fuck nigga that stay here and then. That you see, has anybody been in here since then? Except for my fat motherfucker, he called himself cut my hair on the side and gonna bring the nasty ass Jack Daniels, Jack Daniels over here like he was gonna get some. But did, have you seen anybody uh, over here? They got that goddamn Oprah Renfe booty. You know what I'm saying? No. So my son knows that when I do this shit and he edit it, I know he like, eh. but he know I just be playing. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's a shit flashing. It's, it might sound hard. like it's my first time going. <laughs> yeah, I hope y'all can understand the shit. Bluetooth. So my coworkers be when our coworkers like you gonna do some more songs. So, all right, this is lumpy jelly. Let's see. Maybe I shouldn't put the phone right next to the mic. Let me see, cause I don't know how loud it's gonna sound. Bitch, we took the fire detectors. That's what I'm sending this on top of. Off, because they can't ring you. Bro. I hate being in the hood. They be trying to put this shit in here when they do renovations and shit. And it's still raggedy. You try to get these high tech uh, smoke detectors. And I can't turn these shits off, but they still beat. My son took all these out. That don't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to renovate this shit in the hood, bitch. You still gonna catch fire. That shit be going off when you're in the shower. And then it, I think it tries to do an update. Like how Alexa or any other this fed shit be trying to do an update and it just start going off like at four o'clock. Motherfuckers be sleep and you make it where it goes off and they don't even get out to turn it because they'd be like fire. So I know it's just some it, it's some weird shit. I'm not no conspiracy theorist, but this weird shit that be malfunctioning, that's the ones be putting viruses in the air, right? Viruses come from fucked up software, just like LineWire used to put viruses in your computer. Your computer used to get AIDS, all this stupid ass shit. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I drink, so I don't know what I'm, but you know, you get my drifts. So, uh, Echo, I can't call her Alexa because my son got one. Let that be light. Bitch, Echo, let there be light. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> this song is crazy. Let's hold on. Uh, I think I might put, I might put this shit up there. Let me see. No, that's going to vibrate right there. Come on, go on this, go on this pillowcase, this pillowless case. All right. Without further ado, this is my song. I'm gonna introduce this shit, Lumpy Jelly. Hold on. 
Hello, ho. Bitch, open it. Why is it glitching? My daughter got so many. Oh, no. Uh, don't do it like that. Come on. She got all this shit open. And I can't do it from my phone because I'm using it. Is SoundCloud down? Did they delete my shit because it was so trash? Fuck. It's crashing. Oh no. Hold on, give me. Do 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 to pay her fucking rent how i know how i know cuz i got hit from the hole mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i don't want to do the song tomorrow i'm gonna be one and done cuz i got to you know do my daughter's work on some real shit Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. <sighs> Why is it not searching? Is it fucked up for real? No. No, no, no. I think this shit. I don't have to do this shit tomorrow. I'm frustrated. All this time. I think SoundCloud is down because I can't. I, I tried to delete it and put the shit back on my. <sighs> Kia! Okay. Kia! If you don't get your a double or gobbler, your daddy ugly.